was in grade school, I think I was doing okay till about the third or fourth grade. I don't, I don't really remember exactly what happened, but I knew that I hated school. And um, by the time I got into sixth grade, I was completely stressed out. And I would, I would get literally sick so I could stay home. And so that's when it all really began, I think. People are labeled stupid when they can't spell or if they miss, if they're, the teacher calls on you and you mispronounce a word or you read it wrong, they, you know, the other, your classmates will laugh. And it's embarrassing. It's really, really embarrassing. At that time, nobody knew I had a learning disability. They knew that I, I couldn't, I was a slow reader. But my parents just treated me like the rest of my brothers and sisters and said, you know, why aren't you doing this? Why can't, you know, just come on, try harder. You, you know, you're lazy, you're, you know, come on. It was so hard and so painful. I, I couldn't hardly deal with it at all. When I worked in a nursing home, you didn't have to like write words. There was just initials. I could do initials, but I wouldn't have to write the whole word. So that way people didn't know that I couldn't spell a word. I, I really didn't like it. It was a hard work and low pay. And so I thought, well, I'd like to work for the school district. So maybe I could go up to the literacy program and maybe they could help me because I knew that there was a test I would have to pass. It took us at least, at least a year to get me prepared to take the test, which is now at an eighth grade level. And so I failed it uh, three times. And then I was able to pass it with all the help from my tutor, who was wonderful. It's terrifying when you have to read out loud for the first time. Ken ran as fast as he could, stopping only to pick up clues to lead him to the bear. I mean, I was never officially diagnosed with a learning disability until last year. And I said, Dad, look, I have a learning disability. This is real. He had to chew on it and think about it. And then one day he just said, you know what? Will you forgive me? And that was so healing. It was so healing that he would say he was sorry. It's very common for adult learners to have the fears and the ghost of their past coming to nag at them all the time and tell them they can't, they're not able to, they're stupid. To learn to turn those off, it's very difficult. When I got my first day at Diablo Valley College, I finally felt successful. That was the very first time in my life I felt like I quieted that ghost telling me I couldn't do it. I feel like I can do something else. You know, I'm not stuck. I can go on, I can learn new things. It's a freedom, and it really builds your confidence.